So this is actually uh, where it all started. In the middle of uh, 2020 I bought uh, my first property here bordering the ghost town. It's a uh, half an acre of land with um, two very sketchy ruins. Back then I didn't know what extent this project was going to take. Whoop whoop! In the summer sun. Do I still know how to vlog? So, um, what have I been up to? Where am I? What is this? This is a plot of land in the center of Portugal and on which I made a bit. What is accepted? This is a, um, in the background is a very small village. Four habitable houses and a lot of ruins. As is this. I'll show you a nice view with the drone. And it was very soon after that that I really got the property uh, transferred in my name. And I was a proud owner. It was uh, an emotional moment. So, today is the day. I'm getting my key. Well, I don't know exactly if there is a key. Although I think so, because there's a locked door. But I'll, I will be passing the deed. Today I become the owner of my new property. <laughs> emotional times. Yes. <laughs> Very soon uh, after that I convinced my sister to come over and check out my new property. Uh, the first time uh, we went by plane and uh, we stayed actually here on the property. So, renovating the roof a little, making it um, not accessible, putting a lock on the door. My job for today. So, that's a lot of hard work packing up a little less stuff. My God. Packed some stuff for next year, fixed part of the roof, and wow, the key, yeah. Uh, at first my plans were uh, to renovate this small ruin here, uh, because back then uh, this was all I had. Yeah, I even made uh, plans for this, like what the inside uh, could look like. Here uh, in the corner I uh, fitted a small bathroom. Very small bathroom, two square meters. Um, but the time here spent with my sister, we also uh, did some exploring. Uh, of course, in this uh, small town that my um, new land was bordering. Uh, it was here that I uh, first noticed uh, a for sale sign on one of the other, uh, on one of the other houses here. And while me and my sister were uh, back in Holland already, I started uh, dreaming of more possibilities. And this is what happened. Welcome to my house. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Look at this. I uh, bought myself uh, something uh, more habitable. So yeah, I bought a house. And this house already comes with a washing machine. But it also comes with a lot of garbage in the whole house. And we need to do something about these doors. My whole head is bumpy now. <laughs> Small Portuguese people. It also comes with a bathroom. But uh, as you can see, no water is connected. And look at the shower. Maybe I'll keep that. <laughs> Not 
for sale anymore. Yeah, in this first period I still traveled uh, to Holland uh, up and down a lot. Uh, in Holland I, uh, I gathered all my stuff for the renovation and to set up kind of um, a base camp uh, to survive here. I had a lot of stuff uh, in Holland I needed to sort out before I could uh, come over here. And I got myself a little treat. Yeah, so I bought a whole lot of stuff at an auction and I think I paid uh, for the whole lot which was like six pallets. I paid like 100 euros and it was all kind of screws and bolts and stuff and other kinds of materials a lot starting to look like my grandma here who always collected everything <laughs> in these small little jars but um it's useful stuff for the new project i'm gonna try and sort this stuff out <laughs> My god, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Last box! <laughs> it's getting dark outside already. My god, what a stuff. But so very handy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. But there was a, a lot more than that. And uh, I spent really a lot of time sorting all this stuff out. But it's good stuff. Pink boxes are all nails. These green ones are really big, uh, like uh, screwy things. So, but I got all this stuff uh, sorted out. It's now stacked in the basement, waiting, uh, waiting to be used on the project. And then I convinced my sister again to uh, come and help me out. I asked her to uh, help me set up some uh, facilities for the house and clean it out. So, this is the house. Let's start with the first one. You already saw this in the other video. This is the bathroom. We now have a somewhat uh, different kind of shower. Very small space, but for a bathroom and a shower, it's perfect for now. Do need to fix uh, the window here. Yeah, that still isn't fixed. Let's go to the second room. This is uh, what they call the kitchen. We uh, removed already most of the stuff here fireplace yeah so this is what they call a kitchen but there it has no running water and here uh, we have uh, even a smaller space then uh, the third space this we converted now uh, this was already here we cleaned it and converted it to a temporary uh, living space here we made a small kitchen I bought a new uh, refrigerator put some shelving this is where we make uh, mostly uh, coffee small space to sleep so I'm using this as a uh, living quarters while I'm renovating uh, the rest of the um, of the house so this should be sufficient for the next couple of months I think oh yeah we ran into some artifacts some ancient artifacts very nice pot here what's this for soup <laughs> super old light and uh, a rat trap. Fourth quarters. So you come in and then you have this very small space and then you walk on. And you have here this a very small space. <laughs> and when you turn right, you have here this very small space. <laughs> and then if you turn left here again, you have here this very small space. <laughs> then we have the fifth quarters. So this is a sort of a shed now. You see there's no uh, second roof here. It's just the tiles from the roof. Um, this is now um, sort of the storage and workspace. Here are all the <laughs> screws you saw me uh, pack back home. Uh, I just took everything with me. Sis working up a sweat in the garden. Yeah, and it comes with a garden. Uh, here is uh, our freshly connected water. Super nice and cold water. Drinkable. The, the meter is on the other side. The property has um, 
17 olive trees, uh, grapes, apple. Uh, this is another shed. It's uh, stuffed with uh, all kind of old stuff, from plows to uh, a lot of uh, wood. One of two wells. This is the biggest one. Has water in it. So, and then this uh, used to be a fence. <laughs> A mixture of uh, brambles and, uh, and vines, not all of three. So here we have a small, uh, yeah, a roof for maybe a car or something. And then if we turn around, this also belongs to the property. Yay! So many keys here. Always problem to find the right key. Maybe I should label them because if it's not on this one, I have some more. Nope. Wait, I have more. Success! This was a uh, storage. Um, besides uh, all the olives, I think they also made uh, wine here. Because this. Uh, we have some wine barrels. Yeah, so um, it's also quite a big space. And then we have a uh, an annex. Luckily, this uses the same key. This is now uh, this is the the wood storage. Something was falling down there. That is not a good sign. Um, here also something has fallen down, and this is one of the two community ovens. So. Uh, my sis wanted to clean this up and uh, see if we can still use this for making a pizza. Yeah, so that never happened. The oven remains uh, until now still in the state uh, that it was when I arrived here. This is the entry road into the village. That way. This is the main street, Rua Principal. Uh, the houses here don't have uh, numbers yet. A lot of uh, bigger towns in Portugal, they have uh, numbers on the houses. But here the mailman just uh, looks uh, Rua Principal and then uh, shouts, uh, where's Jasper? And then I get my mail. <laughs> Today my sis and I were working uh, in the other uh, land, down the road. The first property I bought, we were um, pruning the olives there. Ik ben boerhaam, ik kom uit Venten, ik hou van disco. A lot of hard work in the sun, 25 degrees now. So I think I'm maybe gonna set up the pool. Take a small dip to relax. So warm. <laughs> Just take a seat here. Yeah, and then it was uh, back to work to get some uh, facilities running because we didn't have a lot of time and there still needed a lot to be done. Uh, some shade, for instance, would be nice against the blazing Portuguese sun. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> we got a frame for a tent, um, but it's only the frame. Uh, there's no manual, no screws, and no cover. So I bought this uh, Portuguese style shade cover. And luckily, I brought a lot of screws putting this thing together because it's quite hot and we don't have any shade here. I got the frame, but now there's also a roof part <laughs> where this thing needs to be connected to all the pipes. And I have a lot of these. So it's 
now four o'clock. I finally got it. Sun is almost going down. But yeah, we're shaded. Pretty big, huh? <laughs> the next project was getting a temporary bathroom running. Uh, luckily, most of the bathroom was already in place. I only needed to connect uh, the water and uh, a hot water boiler. For this I needed to buy uh, a lot of different stuff. Multicam piping and a lot of different connections. I needed uh, different tools of course. And uh, we started with uh, drilling some holes. And then we got uh, to work on all the piping. And then finally uh, made a temporary uh, water connection uh, to the mains. Let's see if the water runs. We have some leakage here. Yes. Not. <laughs> Turn it off. But in the end, we got it all fine worked out, and we got to take nice hot showers. Oh, I blijf niet dicht zitten. We bought some more Chinese stuff, labels for the for the keys, and uh, they're, they're breaking as you want to open them. Um. I also connected the power supply here. Uh, except for work, uh, me and my sis also started exploring uh, the area a little bit. And we ran into another uh, very small ghost town uh, in the middle of the forest. It was a good health exercise for me. Uh, my health has gone up a lot since I live in Portugal, by the way. <laughs> a lot of beautiful forest to walk around. So, uh, we decided to uh, explore a little. Uh, looking up this... Uh other abandoned village. Uh, the roads are not uh, really accessible here. I don't think cars have been here for a long time. So this is the abandoned town um, Malhadil. It's uh, very close to my village. Also during our uh, expeditions we run into some issues here and there. Okay, we have a situation here. <laughs> this is uh, kind of swampy. This is kind of uh, broken. With some beautiful wide views from the surroundings and a lot of climbing. I thought we were just going walking. Uh, it bears uh, my sister uh, wanted to go hiking. My sister finds us a nice track here. 40 meters incline, she says. Beautiful views from the surroundings. Oh, it's picture night. It's golden hour. We had a, a lucky day that day. And later that evening, uh, my neighbor uh, Paolo uh, came by with some uh, very nice honey. A very friendly guy who comes there uh, maybe once a week uh, to take care of the chickens and, uh, and his vegetables. And then suddenly, all outside work. Stop. Good for the garden though. Uh, my sis helped me also to set up my first ever garden. Later that day, when it cleared up a little, we started on the vegetable garden. Uh, all kinds of uh, soil. I don't know, I'm still learning. And an automatic watering system. We now have hail. I still up for coffee. This guy is huge. He's trying to get in. No mate, you're too fat for that. It's a lot of work, right? Hard work. With my old wheelbarrow with a metal wheel. Hey, it works. Whoops. So we're standing here uh, at the almost finished garden. Uh, my sis planted all the, um, the stuff we brought. We have this, uh, I've bought this system. 
um, with a um, what do you call it? Scheduler timer. You can see here it's dripping away nicely. Yeah, so my sis helped me uh, to set up that garden uh, very nicely uh, in the first season. Uh, this is how it looks now. Sorry sis. I did learn a lot from it though and um, probably next season on the other land we're going to make a huge community garden. So I'll try uh, what I learned uh, to put it in practice there. Because with all the stuff that I have going on now with the build, it's really not doable for me to have a garden. <laughs> you see that. <laughs> then this Portugal trip uh, was already over for me uh, and sis and we needed to go uh, back to Holland. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, but I returned uh, pretty soon after that. And driving there uh, into Portugal always gives me this, uh, this great feeling. Or to go! It's a little tease because uh, it's still 100 kilometers to Portugal. trouble with uh, the Portuguese mountains. <laughs> yeah, that's also because uh, Tiny Tim here is uh, hanging on her ass. <laughs> There we are. Still looking quite fresh. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I have a little issue. Halfway um, driving to Spain, um, I came to the conclusion, please don't laugh. Uh, I forgot the key for the house. So I need to. Uh, get me a way in. Uh, that won't be such a problem. I'm not going to show you how though. <laughs> so, that's what happens when you forget the key. time to start on the house renovation. The first building materials get delivered. I still know it as the day of yesterday. I was so excited. 
and it was so early. <laughs> Thursday morning, six o'clock. The wood is here. Good morning. What? 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 It is a pretty crazy long beam. <laughs> Cannot get it in here. You were almost there. He got it in. <laughs> so, let's start on the roof. Uh, this is going to be something. <laughs> yeah, mind you, I have no experience in building a roof. My mind is not obstructed by any uh, professional knowledge of uh, building a roof. I did however do a lot of uh, inside renovation, like kitchens and bathrooms and electricity, gas, all kind of stuff, but never a roof. First of all I discovered that um, although these look very solid from the inside, uh, yeah. So that's great that we're going to replace them. <laughs> that was a good decision. So suddenly I'm a mechanic. I did learn something from my uh, childhood days with uh, motorbikes. <laughs> Now let's start the work, but we need to start with a little demolishing and cleaning up. <laughs> it's so rotten, the nail is still in there. I needed to move the shed. Remember this uh, room? This is where I put all my uh, tools and uh, materials. Yeah, we're gonna take off the roof, so the materials needed to move. So this is now uh, completely empty again. It sounds hollow. Um, but yeah, I'm not really uh, happy when I move the roof and uh, the stuff is still here. So um, I moved it to the other shed. Yay! <laughs> here it can stay for uh, for a little longer. <laughs> and here is where we're finally going to start the work on the roof. Uh, I decided to do the roof in two phases. Um, half half. Looking back, maybe I should have done this uh, all at once. Um, but I wanted uh, a place to stay. And there were other solutions for that. But I didn't decide for that. So in season one, we did uh, the first half. The first step there was removing the old roof, of course. This didn't go so smooth every time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that is pretty hard work in this uh, scorching Portuguese sun. <laughs> but my work was going to get some help from my friends. Two of my friends from Holland came to the ghost town to help me out. Roof tiles incoming! Uh, delivery yesterday. You already saw the tiles for the roof. Uh, there were also tiles for uh, on the top. And cement, the building blocks. And a whole pile of sand. <laughs> I never done this before, <laughs> making cement. So it's going to be a new experience. The battery is dead. You have the right consistency? Now I do. Great. Yes. Um. We're gonna, well, we're actually not gonna hoist. Uh, Stefano thought that we can just uh, lift it up and put it on the walls. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna try that. Uh, if it doesn't work, we're gonna try my method. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, so let's trust on this guy for now. <laughs> Yeah, that took some uh, some real effort because uh, we needed to get it in straight and the houses in Portugal uh, are everything but straight. Yeah, and then it took a lot more thinking and uh, measuring to see how are we gonna put in all these rafters straight. We still also need to cement up the wall. And then we got even more help. The two sons of Paolo came to um, help with painting, treating the wood. And uh, this is the first um, appearance that uh, Dwart made on the vlog. These are the um, two boys of Paolo. And they're helping me out. I'm very glad with that. We need a lot of painting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, <laughs> it's starting to look like something. All thanks to this guy. But yeah, then already uh, my friends needed to leave again. And um, I continued to work on the roof uh, by myself. For now. 8.2. Flop. Let's get another rafter. Uh, number uh, 10. <laughs> Let's get these rafters on there. How do you like my tool belt? Getting more organized. And then something happened that I didn't plan for, but was very welcome. A new team member on the Portugal project. And Zoe, you remember? A long time ago already. Don't want to be on camera, Zoe. And then I realized Akira is only using the doggy pool as a drinking bowl. But you haven't met Akira yet. She's still to come further up in the video. <laughs> no, then I realized that uh, we made a mistake on the roof. So I actually had to take uh, all the rafters on one side down and get some new rafters because I cut them out already.
So the problem here was that uh, the bricks I cemented on top of the wall, uh, I cemented them with an overhang. And the rafters I eventually cut were resting on this overhang. So eventually that would have uh, broken off if it got on more weight. So I, uh, I cut all the, um, the bricks back. And then I cut new rafters to put on there. Yeah, this whole project is um, a big learning experience for me. Stay. Let's see how long that takes. <laughs> hmm? Zoe, and the car. And the car. Zoe. Hmm. <sighs> I think she's planning on going out straight again. I caught her in the middle of the act. You're busted. Really, Zoe? Get your paws off the wall. Down. Down. Get down. Get down. Now! But yeah, so he made me also uh, go for uh, beautiful morning walks here in our forest. Summer, spring, winter and fall. It's all beautiful. This is uh, Zoe's uh, morning walk. And my morning walk. I think it needed more for my health than for her health. Zoe is getting more uh, adjusted to me because now she waits everywhere if I don't move fast enough. So she's keeping an eye on me. That's good. Featured in next year's restoration, my tiny house. No, also now after next year, it still looks the same. Probably will get done at some point in the future. What are you smelling? So yeah, this is actually the doggy pool I'm sitting in right now. Because for this season I didn't put up the pool yet. But uh, in the first season we had um, pool jumps. At the end of uh, some episodes, I would uh, try to do a different jump in the pool. And at the end of the season, they got, uh, they got really crazy. <laughs> what the? What is this guy doing? Looks a whole lot different from up here. There's another pool jump uh, coming up later in the video, but that's uh, adult rated. <laughs>
So what I'm doing this time is I'm uh, using the bricks to fill up uh, the heightening up of the gable. And before I only used cement. I did this because it uh, uses a lot less cement. It seemed like a better solution for me. Very satisfied with this. Yeah, and then it was basically rinse and repeat. I used the same forms, uh, I adjusted them a little. Uh, I left the gate open. So yeah, it's been open for about an hour. I think she's starting to feel uh, feel at home. <laughs> she doesn't want to leave. You're just relaxing in the sun. Finally, we're gonna put on some roof decking. Uh, only for this side of the house. I mean like this side of the roof. Uh, that's still drying a little. Should be able to take that off uh, later today. And there is also still drying, but that's on the other side. So yeah, I think that is really gonna look nice. So I'm now gonna, so I'm now gonna edit the video for you guys. And after maybe I uh, continue still a little bit with uh, putting on the decking. Um, yeah, still owe you the last pull jump for the season. Roll that clip. So let's do one last pull jump for this year. Huh? Let's make it something special. Turn off the lights. <laughs> ah, let's get naked. Yeah, you don't really want to know the temperature at the moment, I think. The pool looks like a black hole in the dark. Uh, I hope I don't disappear. Just kidding, I'm here. So yeah, this was the last one of the series. Let's find something else to do <laughs> for the winter. Where's my towel?
Yeah, so um, rain happened. <laughs> that stuff getting wet is not good. Yeah, so basically some of the boards got twisted, so I took them all off and uh, I reused the ones that are not twisted and uh, worked my way back up again. <laughs> And then more help arrived. It was the first time I got help from a YouTube subscriber. His name is Baz and uh, by some coincidence he was a roofer. <laughs> so yeah, that will come quite in handy <laughs> at this point in the project. Although building a roof in Northern Europe is somewhat different than building a roof in Portugal. <laughs> Got that right? And then things started uh, moving along pretty quickly and soon the roof would be looking uh, somewhat like this.
That looks great, huh? Still need to fill up uh, all these holes here. But, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I think it looks really pretty. So since it's uh, raining and stuff, I want to uh, do some uh, things inside um, for the other room where I'm going to stay uh, this winter. I'm going to fill uh, these holes. Uh, the building inspector has arrived. Hi Zoe! Yes, you smell Joost. He just tried to ride my leg. Your boyfriend. Look, he's outside. Outside the gate. Go say hi. He's been there all day. He's been all day waiting for you. Yeah, at this point still a lot of work needed to be done uh, for me to move into my temporary living space. And since it has started raining, uh, I decided to continue inside for a little.
Yeah, there she is. Hello. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Then luckily the weather cleared up and we were able to continue the work on the roof. I had my helper Bas still here, so it was time to crack on.
Living the happy life, eh? Zakke bastelman. I think I have found the job I uh, like the least so far on this build. Yeah, the grinding is horrible. And there we are in the beginning of November. No shirt.
Can you fold up the top for me, Zoe? Oh, man, I think patas. Maybe you want help a little. Ok, vou tentar. Nope, não consigo. Yeah, so because we're only going to do half the roof, I needed to make sure that um, where the connection is made with uh, the next part of the roof, that this all uh, stays nice and intact. So I'm uh, fixing a pattern here below all the ends of the deckings so that they won't um, twist. And then cover it all up. Yeah, and that concluded the first part of this roof build. But to get myself in my temporary living space, uh, I still needed to do a lot more work. <laughs> and the next day, it's just a gorgeous day. <laughs> you really have to plan your days here. With me with the laptop work, it should work out fine. If I look at the weather sometimes, and I can plan the sunny days to uh, work outside, huh? It's really gorgeous. Yesterday I was freezing my bees off. <laughs> now where did that Zoe go? Ah. Uh, so I'm first going to try the door. First need to remove the old door. Just another quiet Monday morning in the ghost town. Are you guys grazing? Akira! Akira, calma! 
Por favor, for the video, sweet. Calma. Yeah, this is Akiva. Another new member of the Portugal project. Huh, sweetie? You enjoying it at the Portugal project? I hope so. Ah, ah, I'm the guy. Where are we going? Where are the forest? Estou a ir, estou a ir. It's my first present. I thought it was something I ordered, but it's like a, a gift from a subscriber. <laughs> Woo. So if you want to make me cry, send me presents. I think it's for you guys. Ooh. Zoe. Zoe, look at this. <laughs> o que é isto? Funny, huh? You want it? Deixa ver. Wow. So cool. <laughs> look. <laughs> you want one? This is Akira. Can she have one? <laughs> It's not made for doggies. No, it's made for me. You're new. Maybe you will get a present also soon, yeah? You'll get a cookie. Wow. This will really keep me warm. They're funny. Ooh. It's like I have ears, like the dogs. Like, uh, oh, Gita, thank you so much for these nice heads. You'll see them in the videos a lot. I need them for the winter. And all these, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be eating them, but it's not good for me, all this candy, guys. I'll try one tonight. I didn't know that. You like it? It's yours. It's from, it's from Zoe, Akira. Akira now, Akira now. Or maybe you can share. Maybe you guys can share.
And if you run out of gas, but you luckily have a wood stove, then you can use that to cook your dinner. <laughs> So that was the first time we got the door open. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I um, cut off uh, like one and a half centimeters here and then all the way up. Yeah, and now you see that the door is like pushing here to this side and then here on the top it's pushing to this, this side. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit off here then see where the anchor points are and maybe if needed fill in some of the gaps where the anchor points are coming at least so uh, the anchors will hold that would be nice she's not eating a rock she's eating a roof tile <laughs> sweetie look look this is a roof tile it's stone listen this is not good for you now this is a stick it's wood you hear? It's wood. It's better. Wow. 
Bon appétit to me. Zoe. Hola. Is your name Zoe also? Wanna take a nice look outside, sweetie? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, and then we're almost uh, at the end of the season. And at the end of the year, Christmas was coming by. I decided to uh, spend Christmas with my, uh, with my two new team members. My girls. Oh, and this one is for you, because I know you like these. You're a Labrador. For you. And for you, we still need to see what toys you like, so... I guessed. What are you doing? This for you. Open. Yes. Oh. Wait. No, don't eat the plastic. Uh... Give me, give me, give me. Let's show them. Let's show it to the YouTube. Ah, <laughs> I think maybe I brought the bought the wrong present. Look, this is for Zoe. This is Akira. So, but what about the ball? This for Akira. Ooh. Ooh. Now, this is your present. You want it? Good. This is your sweetie.
Yeah, everybody, if you uh, reached this far in the video, then you're almost two hours in. And I want to thank you very much for your support by watching this video. It is uh, very kindly appreciated. Uh, if you like this video um, very soon, or maybe when you see this already now, uh, there is a second year update. Maybe you want to check that out. So uh, yeah, as you saw, I cemented it in also, um, not completely everywhere, still need to do a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, that uh, worked out pretty good, I think. Also did uh, part of the door, uh, only this ridge here, that turned out uh, pretty fine as well. It's the piloto. Oh, bom dia. Bom dia, pilot. You coming on the walk? Another day, another nice warm hat. A little chilly today. I 
need to pay attention now. <laughs> Here, Annika. Annika. Senta. Senta. Akira. 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 Annika. Not with your ass to the YouTube. Turn around. Oh. So, uh, from a sunny central Portugal, we wish you uh, a good end of this, uh, this year. Uh, we see you very soon in the new year. Uh, You'll be safe. Uh, we're gonna stay right here. I think we'll be safe. So if you like this video, like this video. If you like more of our videos, maybe take a subscription. They should take a subscription, right? Akira, you think they should? They, Akira, you think they should take a subscription? Yes, they should take a subscription. <laughs> See you all in the new year, guys. Say bye. Bye. Bye.